Hello everyone, it is Mary here. Please excuse my hair. I know it looks awful, but um, I really need to wash it and I'm kind of afraid to take it down. But maybe it was like a, a cute, messy look, you know, side pieces hanging down everywhere. I don't know. Anyway, also, it is finally spring here in Arkansas. And I'm over here wearing this dark lipstick. Why? I have no idea. But I owe y'all a makeup basket video because um, I skipped last month because I had to study for a huge exam, which I passed, by the way, so it's fine. Uh, but. I gotta show you what I'm using. I actually kept the products in here that I used from March and then just continued to use them and add more things in. So I have this huge bag sitting in front of me because the normal one, this is the normal one I use, right? It's right here. Let me show you this one. <clears throat> okay, be ready. Oh, this is actually kind of heavy. Hmm. And I actually, I thought I wouldn't enjoy having all of this makeup sitting here in front of me, but I really did. I liked having the option, and I even pulled in lip products that weren't in my project pan, my lipstick project pan, and um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna show you everything that's in here, even if it's lip products or not, like, it's just, it's gonna be in here. It's also not going to be in any order because when is my bags or when are my ba makeup basket videos or makeup bag videos, when are they ever in order? Um, so I'm just, let's start with these lip products that I have in my hand. Um, so I have recently gotten a bunch of makeup. If you would have seen my haul. And my ColourPop haul that I did like two months ago, uh, you would know, actually three months ago now, um, that I've gotten a lot of lip products and, whoops, haven't been using my Project Pan lip products. But anyway, they're all in here because I was testing them all out. But, let's just before I start rambling. I have a ColourPop Lippy Stick. This is in my project in Lumiere. Um, I have this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. This is super... Okay, to try to achieve this look, I tried to use this combo that I got from that bag. I spent like $20 on NYX products and you got a bag of stuff. And this lip liner, first of all, beautiful purple color, right? so dry your lips cannot have like any dry patches on them at all or it clings to them Ugh. that might have to be used up because I do not like it and if I have it in a project maybe that'll give me some motivation to use it but on its own I don't think I'll pull, grab for this so and this right here is the NYX soft matte lip cream they're both in the shade Copenhagen this is a, a NYX suede matte lip liner this is so sheer like it's so sheer and I just like when you just swatch it, it is perfectly fine and you're like oh that's gonna be so opaque but it grabs onto different parts of my lips this is, might be another thing, like, I ended up to use it, I topped it over this lipstick that I'm wearing. I'll just put some on, that's fine. Also, a lot doesn't come out on the wand at once, which I'm not a fan of. But yeah, put some more of that on. Anyway, then the next thing that I have is I finally got around, ooh, okay. To truly testing out these ColourPop Ultra Blotted Lips. Um, they're basically a sheer liquid lipstick and I really like this nude color. 
like it is super pretty you can build it up really nicely into an opaque color I actually quite enjoy the color itself but these darker colors this is the color I originally tried to put on my lips this one's in cherry on top this nude one is in Zuma so it just it doesn't build I guess because the color is so dark and is sheer like it's supposed to be so I'm just gonna have to play around with these a little bit more this one is super pretty too I love this color but I have the same problem with this one it just doesn't build this one is in split I'm just gonna have to maybe I need a different lip liner because I did try it with this lip liner both times maybe that's my fault more lip products here of the Anastasia lip gloss and Kristen it's in my project the Tarte lippy lip lingerie in revealed I'm just gonna warn y'all now this is gonna be a long video NARS lip glade and bound this is a lip lingerie what color is this in lip glade L I L I P L I really like these. These are kind of a drying formula. They kind of compare to the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lips, but they're not as crumbly as the Ultra Matte Lips. Okay. For eyeshadow palettes. Well that one's out. I um use quite a bit of eyeshadow palettes. First of all, I have this elf walking on Elf. This is Wet n Wild Walking on Eggshells. This is in my uh, rolling project pan, so that's usually in here. Um, but I pulled out these two Mad for Matte palettes. This is the original one, and then this one is in Summer Breeze. I love these. I love matte eyeshadows. This is the original. I got both of these because of Caffeine Lights. Because I was like, if she loves it, I will love it. And plus, they're only 10 bucks. And they're really good quality, and this is a cruelty-free brand. I don't know if that really matters, but I've also been using um, this Gwen Stefani eyeshadow palette a ton because, according to the expiration date, which I probably won't go by, this expires in June, so in two months, which is fine. I probably won't throw it away by then. Um, I honestly thought about using this as my fan matte palette. I was actually trying to low key, like not on anything, try to paint this eyeshadow as a blush. I might try doing that again. I just kind of started gravitating towards different things. Um, and then of course I have my fan matte palette. So another palette that I have in here, I have two, two base palettes. This is not new. I basically, I mainly pulled this one in for the blush in here. This is a Sonia Kashuk Pretty Cheeky, Pretty Cheeky Face Palette. Um, I think this was part of a Christmas collection, but I mainly used it for the blush in here because I really love this coral color. And sometimes I would contour with this bronzer. So that is that. And then this is new, something I was testing out. I kind of have a concoction of highlighters on my face right now but one of them is this gold color right here and I really love these um, I can use the palette up until about these two and then these two are too deep for me they're gorgeous shades though so um, I think those are gorgeous shades um, I believe that these three are, are one wait I used to know that these one two three four five are baked and then these three are pressed that is and this is the revolution and this is with a, a youtuber a collaboration although it's so f but my writing is already starting to rub off but it's kind of annoying but it's okay okay so i have my bronzer that's in my project pan here I just have a beauty blender, a very dirty beauty blender. I really need to clean this thing. That's fine. My um, Becca highlighter, I actually used this as a bronzer today because it is starting to get really, 
or it's still really deep for my skin tone. Um, it's kind of actually, it's about the same color as the last color in the eyeshadow palette, except this is highlighter palette, except this is a little more warm. But um, that's the color you can see it is more of a bronzy shade for me. And I kind of like it, but I'm like, I'm very glowy today, like Instagram glow. So I don't know how I feel about that, but um, that's fine, I guess. Okay, some more. I have this NYX concealer that I started using because I really don't want to run out of my Kat Von D concealer. This is in L3 Warm. I've learned to love this at first. I didn't absolutely love it, but now I do. I have taken the stopper out and, um, I'm oh, sorry. And I, you probably can't see that because it's super dark in this room right now. But I am basically done with this. There's just some product left at the bottom that I can't reach with a wand. And then I'll probably scrape out with my silicone spatula. Okay. Rest of the compact. Powder products. Am I missing any? Oh. I told you this makeup bag was big. So, oh, I even missed some. I was saying, okay, the only loose powder product, pro, pu, blah, 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 powder product in here is this Corez Mineral Illuminating Powder in Wild Rose. This is um very, very old, and um, I probably should just throw this away. But I can't bring myself to do it. I'm about to show you why. I don't know if I've shown y'all this before. Or like swatched it. Right there. See it is on my... Okay. Like clean, clean. Oh my god. It's just like the prettiest. Like champagne glow. I don't know if you can really see it in this lighting. But it is gorgeous because it's kind of the same color as my skin tone right now I have gotten a little bit of sun so I am a little bit tanner if I popped it on my cheeks though it wouldn't do any justice because I have like four highlighters layered <laughs> anyway the next highlighter that I have is this elf this is the Bla Bla Blake's I cannot talk baked highlighter in a moonlight pearls and this is also I let me just put a little bit on my nose and on my cheeks bow and on my chin um because everyone can glow more and then we have my under eye setting powder this is the only under eye setting powder I use this is the Razor Cabana bronzer it has an SPF of 15 which I'm pretty sure the SPF has expired because I've had this for a little over a year so the SPF doesn't do any good to my under eyes. And then my Project Pan Powder. I have a Wet n Wild Highlighter in Precious Petals. I don't really know why I pulled this out because this is the exact same color as Opal. And before I start going hard in on this one, I really need to finish that one up. Because if I end up liking this kind of bronze thing for the summer... That's what I'm going to be using. And once I get done with that, this is what I'll be going for. Because they are the exact same shade. I'll finger swatch them next to each other. I'm pretty sure this dupe video has um, been done before. Again. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Same shade. I'm just very glittery right now. Okay. Can I do blush all at the same time? Four more blushes. I think that's all the blushes I have. Yeah. So I have a pixie blush. It's actually the blush I'm wearing because I thought I probably should wear a neutral matte blush because of all the glitter going on my face. This is in Beach Rose. It's really pretty. I really like it, although I really don't like this packaging. I don't like having to 
screw and unscrew this. At some point, I'm probably going to lose this cap just because that's how my life goes. Uh, there's product. Uh, uh, it's so attractive, right? That's how much gunk is, is on my lips. Does anyone else reuse makeup wipes? It's probably really gross. I just leave it here until it gets super disgusting. Like it's about time to throw away. Okay, my face powder that I use on the outer perimeter of my face, because I usually just use the Rimmel Stay Matte in the center of my face, because that's where I get oily, and the outside of my face has been super dry lately, so when it's, I'm just really bougie. Um, this is the Revlon Color Stay Powder in light. This does absolutely nothing for controlling oils, which is why it is good to set the outside perimeter of my face. Because I don't need controlled oils there. Yeah. I'm running out of room in my little basket. That I shove things to. Oh my goodness. How did I wear all these lip products? I'm just like looking at this. Okay. More blushes. I have the Tarte blush in Party. Um, should I show you? I've started wearing away the pattern on this. Because I've been wearing it more often. This was the... Um, birthday gift and then okay or just fall to the ground that's all right too pick it later these two blushes by milani these are powder blushes this one is in coral cove and this one is in t-rose they are great different strategy okay i'm trying to get all the face products out of the way before i get into all these lip products okay face product uh, my primer this is the only primer I own um, then I have this concealer I use this as foundation probably like three or four times because I don't like it underneath my eyes and it is the color of my skin this is the Milani retouch and erase would not recommend unless you like super light coverage underneath your eyes what is going on with my under eyes okay also would not recommend this concealer <laughs> It likes my mascara too much. Anyway, we have this color corrector by Hard Candy in the shade Peach. This is my project pan. And we have the last two highlighters that are in here. Maybe. Oh my lord, I've already gone through like a fourth of that. Oh, it's fine. Um, sorry. I'm really tired, if you can't tell. This is a Hard Candy Baked Ombre Blush. It's more like a highlighter and a blush duo. Um, I usually just use all of this as a highlighter. I either go on one side, go on the other side, or swirl it and kind of do that. Although I guess I could just use that as a blush. Should I put it on my... No, don't put it on your face, Mary. And then we have a Milani highlighter. I kind of went crazy with the highlighters. I mean, I've really been into um, layering highlighters to get like a super glow effect. This is the Hypnotic Light Highlighter in 02 Luminous Light. It's like a color shifting highlighter. I'm running out of places to swatch. I feel like Tati right now with all the highlighters. You can't see that because of this crappy light, but it's fine. Okay, eyebrow products. I have three eyebrow products. Um, I don't know why. This is the brow pomade that I used for like the last three months. That was it, three months or two months that I was blonde because my hair was more of a warm tone color. This is soft brown. It is too warm for my hair right now, which is a shame because this is kind of a thing thing, but it's fine. Sometimes I'll still use this and then put a shadow over it just to kind of make it work. Because I really like the way my brows look with a pomade until... Well, I'll... Hold on. Hold on. Then I also have this e.l.f. one, which I really should just get rid of. But I paid $3 for this thing. Like, I'm going to use it. And I think from now on for pomades, I'll probably just repurchase this one. This one's a medium brown and it matches my eyebrows exactly. In fact, when I was blonde, I was using this one, and my mom would say that my eyebrows are too dark, and I was like, but I can't do anything about it, 
because my eyebrows are dark. Anyway, so this is the love of my life. This Wet n Wild retractable brow pencil. What shade is this in? Is it like dark brown? Medium brown, because I'm a medium brown kind of gal. It's just, why am I swatching this? It's a really nice color. It's a really nice, like, cool tone color. You don't really find a lot of cool tone brown colors. Cool toned brow colors in pencil form in the drugstore. Especially for lighter shades. Oh my goodness, that was a struggle. Especially when I was blonde. Because I was blonde at one point. It did happen, I promise. <laughs> then I started putting crazy colors on top of it. Um, but it just it it never it never worked. They were always way too red toned, warm toned. Anyway, my cream eyeshadow base. Um, this is what I use for my eye primer, unless I need it to last for a really long time, which I use at Urban Decay. But this one's in Cretan Chic. Awesome. My mascara combo, which is the Too Faced Better Than Sex, and the L'Oreal Telescopic. It makes my lashes um awesome. And then I have two eyeliners. Don't ask me why. Um, I love this one for wings, but I can't draw just like a straight line with it. Don't I don't know why. It's a felt tip. And then I have this one for when I draw wings. Is this a felt tip or a brush tip? This one's a brush tip. I can't draw wings with this one. I can just draw straight lines. I think it has something to do with like the really long thing applicator. That's what it's called. And then, so many lip products. So many lip products. Why? Why did I keep all of these in here? I used these all for the past two months. Okay. I have three lip balms that I used. Usually I just keep one, like, on the glass right here where I'm tapping. Um any of these really I kind of go back and forth between all of them this one's my favorite obviously the writing has rubbed off but it's like an all natural one made with goat milk and it smells like cin cinnamon I'll say it slowly so you know what I say because I can't say cinnamon fast don't ask me why I've tried for years like literally years to say cinnamon but I say it like feminine Synonym. What are other words like that? I don't know. Man, y'all are seeing a different side of me tonight. It's it's not even that late. It's nine o'clock. Okay, let's start with lips, like bullet lipsticks. There's only two. Great. I guess let's do lip liners as well. Okay. I have a Marc Jacobs one here. This one's in Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. I really just don't like, look at this. This is ridiculous. Mary Elizabeth, just use this up. Like, I can't, I can't with myself. And then this um, Wet n Wild lipstick that's in my project pan that has no sticker on it. It's like something raisin. It's what I'm wearing under the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream and the ColourPop in Cherry on Top the blotted lip I just put that over all that and then put the soft matte lip cream on top of that in the video okay so I have a lip liner in Cabernet in Baby Berry Rock and Rose and Tawny these three everyone but the Cabernet is my project um I have a Tardis lip paint in Rose I believe the yep that's in my project I have, um, two, three, where's that spoken? Okay, I guess I didn't put it back in here. Anyway, I have four of these. One of them is in soft spoken, which I do not know where it is. At the moment, that's not Spanish. This one is in L LSCL. What the heck? Oh, that's not the actual name. It's in Downtown Beauty. 
because this poopy brown color totally is downtown beauty. But it looks really good on the lips. I promise. I keep promising. Um, then I have this one in sandstone. Sandstorm. I'm not going to swatch everything. And then this pink one, which I didn't think would be so pink. I'm going to swatch this one. Because I was very upset. Like, why is it so pink? You look like you'd be more nude than pink. At least it pulls very pink on my lips. This one's in Teen Cookies. I thought that was such a cute name. Okay. Those are not in my project pan. Let's pull the project pan out of those out first. That's a hint. Oh, I also have this L'Oreal Infallible in um, Golden Sage, number 333. I really want to get more of these. But they're so pretty. Okay, I have these three liquid lipsticks from Wet n Wild. They're all in my project. I really should have four in here because I wore very recognized a crap ton, but I bet that one's in my car. So this one is a nice diffusia coral corruption ah, and rebel rose. So I have two of these stay matte lip liquid lipsticks, one in blush and one in mocha. Um I have two of these elf ones, one in Praline and one in Blush and Rose. The Blush and Rose one is my favorite. I have more ColourPop lipsticks. These are, um, well, this one right here that's rubbed off. This is another thing that annoys me about ColourPop lip lipsticks. ColourPop lipsticks is the, or the liquid or glosses or whatever. They rub off. This one's in stud, this one's a satin, and this one is a matte, and this one is in love bug, and so crumbly, but I love the color of it so much. Actually, wait, wait a minute, uno momente, por favor, and wait, um, next, next. This looks like the NYX Liquid Suede. This is, this is not a liquid suede. This is a lip lingerie. Hold on. Oh, this one's a little bit more pink. Okay, I can justify keeping both. That's a joke, by the way. Has anyone ever seen the Instagram post? It's like, my girl has so many, has so much makeup. And when she's going through it, I ask her why she has all of it. And she says, this one's a little bit more cool toned than that one. I need both. That's me. That's me, my wife. Um, I'm so tired, y'all. I need... <laughs> okay. Trucking along. This is so much makeup. Why didn't I film this last month? I've just been kind of keeping all of this in here. I really loved having all of this. Okay, come on, come on. I really loved having all of this selection, though. I'm not gonna lie. Just a few more products. There's an eyeliner. I used that so much in March. Was it March or was it May? It's March. This is the Urban Decay glide on eye pencil i lost the cap to it so i put this cap on there it's probably under my bed somewhere because my bed obviously you can see my my cupboards and my dirty room but it's fine okay i have this sephora lip cream luster matte long wear lip color in big luster i really like this color by the way i've kept on the liquid lipstick i actually wore this like four or five times Kinda of surprising. Um, this one is in underage red. I love this red color. Usually, I'm not into like orangey reds like this, but I'm gonna swatch it. Why not? I mean, I got bukus of other swatches on me. It's right there. I'm gonna swatch this right here. That is so pretty, though. I kind of want to put it on for the next one. I have this Maybelline Color Jolt 
I really don't know why I have this anymore because I really don't like these. But they smell like watermelon. Let's just... Why not? But purple. Ooh, we're oh, so hard work that you did to get this dark color. <laughs> anyway, sorry. I have this CoverGirl Katie Cat Gloss in Catalope Chatalope. This smells like vanilla cake mix. But it smells so good. I have this Jordana lip gloss. I'll put some of this on too. This is the holographic lip gloss. I saw someone with this and I was like, I need that in my life. I don't remember who. This is in Cosmic Opal. They have different shades. I'm just gonna add a bunch of lip products that I'm just about to take off to put on that red color to film another video in this state of mind. I'm so sorry y'all are having to go through this. This is a CoverGirl lipstick in Secret Secret and then a L'Oreal Infallible Paints in Navy Spy. Ball drop. That is everything that I wore for the months of March and April. I hope you enjoyed. I'm sorry for all of my weird remarks. I get really crazy when I'm tired. I think you figured that out though. Okay, I will see you later guys. Bye, I hope you enjoyed.